Hello, welcome to this introduction to High Integrity Pressure Protection Systems, more commonly referred to in the industry as HIPS. During this tutorial, we will learn about their applications, find out why they are being increasingly used, we will review the system architecture, see them in operation, and understand how lead times and procurement costs can be reduced. Basically, a HIPS protects downstream process equipment, personnel and the environment from an overpressure event. During an overpressure event, the HIPS will sense increased upstream pressure and rapidly close block valves before any downstream process equipment can become overpressurized. As oil and gas resources become harder to find, operators are forced to work in environments of ever increasing severity and risk. Often operating in high temperature, high pressure, HTHP applications, the consequences of an overpressure event to personnel, the environment and infrastructure could be catastrophic if not suitably managed. To help manage the increasing and unprecedented risk, the concepts of Safety Instrumentated Systems CIS, and Safety Integrity Levels SIL, were created and applied to critical safety systems such as HIPS. A HIPS is an independently instrumentated protective device and effectively acts as the last line of defense for protecting downstream operations from overpressurization. Typically certified to SIL 3, a HIPS gives operators the most dependable pressure protection system available in the market today. Traditionally, the risks of overpressure events has been managed through the use of mechanical relief systems, which open during an overpressure event to relieve excess fluid and pressure to disposal systems, such as flares or holding tanks. Although simple, relatively low cost and widely available, these systems often require a large insulation footprint and are far from ideal when the process fluid is flammable or toxic. Typically, operators will select a HIPS when high pressures or flow rates are required, the environment needs to be protected from process fluid contamination, the economic viability of an insulation needs to be improved, and the risk level of an insulation needs to be reduced. In addition to providing optimum pressure protection, HITs provide operators with significant capex and opex savings. For new installations, a HIPS avoids the requirement for expensive flare systems and pressure relief manifolds, offers significant weight savings and reduced insulation footprints for offshore installations, and for wellhead installations they allow pressure ratings for downstream piping and instrumentation to be reduced. For existing installations, a HIPS avoids the requirement to upgrade flare systems and pressure relief manifolds. Let's have a look at a common application for HIPS. In this example, we have an oil rig which has been producing from three wells for many years. These wells have been producing oil at stable pressure rates of less than 100 bar, and accordingly all downstream infrastructure has been designed to operate at the maximum pressure of 100 bar. A fourth well was drilled several years ago, however it was found to produce oil at fluctuating pressures, which could occasionally spike to as high as 200 bar. As the existing infrastructure was only rated to 100 bar, it was deemed uneconomic at the time to upgrade the pressure rating of the infrastructure and so the well was never brought online. Today the production rates of the original three wells has begun to fall and correspondingly the economic viability of the rig. If the operator could somehow bring the fourth well online without having to upgrade the pressure rating of all their downstream infrastructure, then the rig could remain economically viable for many years to come. The solution is to fit a HIPS between the fourth well and the existing infrastructure. By doing this, the operator only needs to invest in the HIPS and a riser rated for 200 bar. They can leave all the existing infrastructure rated for 100 bar. In the event that the fourth well's pressure increases to above 100 bar, the HIPS will automatically close and isolate the well before any downstream process equipment becomes overpressurized. Let's now have a look at the major components that form a HIPS. Firstly, we have the block valves. These are typically trunnion mounted double block and bleed ball valves and they are used due to their proven tight shut off and high reliability, coupled with low operating torque requirements. Typically, a HIPS will close even the largest block valves in less than two seconds. For increased reliability, two valves are always used and mounted in series. As we go through the rest of the system, you will notice that many other of the major HIPS components are also duplicated, again to provide increased reliability. Next we have the valve actuators. Each block valve is fitted with an actuator, which can be pneumatically or hydraulically powered. 
Spring return actuators are always used as they can reliably fail the block valves closed on loss of either their pneumatic or hydraulic supply pressure or the command signal from the control system. Each actuator is fitted with a local control system. For SIL-3 certified HIPS, the control system will comprise of three solenoid valves. For redundancy, two of the solenoid valves are used during an overpressure event and are often referred to as emergency shutdown ESD solenoid valves. A third solenoid valve is used for partial valve stroke testing. Next, we have the pressure sensors. Three pressure sensors are installed on the process line to detect upstream pressure. To avoid any spurious trips, they employ a two out of three voting logic. Finally, we have the logic solver, which is essentially the brains of the hips. Located in a safe area, the logic solver processes the inputs from the pressure sensors as well as any other devices as determined by the safety analysis and cause and effect logic to determine whether to initiate closure of the block valves. They can be supplied as either fully programmable, limited programmable or hardwired type and are designed with redundancy and voting logic to prevent spurious closure of the block valves. In the event that a single logic solver channel fails, an alarm will be generated on the HMI. During normal operation, at least two of the three pressure transmitters sense pipeline pressure below the high set point pressure. The logic solver processes the inputs from all three pressure transmitters and decides that the pipeline is operating below its high pressure set point. The logic solver energizes the two ESD solenoid valves to hold them in their open position. In their open positions, the ESD solenoid valves allow the actuator's supply pressure to pressurize the hydraulic or pneumatic pistons. The pressurized pistons compress the actuator's springs and open the block valves. During an overpressure event, at least two of the three pressure transmitters sense pipeline pressure to be equal to or above the high pressure set point. The logic solver processes the inputs from the three pressure transmitters and decides that the pipeline is operating at or above its high set point pressure. The logic solver de-energizes the two ESD solenoid valves and they subsequently move to their closed positions. In their closed positions, the solenoid valves vent pressure from the actuator's pistons. The actuator's springs are now able to uncompress and close the block valves. Traditionally, operators and EPCs have had to source HIPS components from multiple suppliers and then internally conduct the safety analysis on the complete system assembly to ensure SIL-3 compliance. The project management of numerous vendors is a complex and time-consuming process for procurement departments and the SIL-3 calculations and certification activities require end-user or EPC resources from multiple engineering disciplines. Until recently, there was no single supplier able to undertake all of the activities necessary to provide SIL-3 certified HIPs. With over 30 years experience providing valve automation solutions for the most critical applications, Paladin Systems is now able to provide a single point of contact for turnkey HIP solutions. Managing one HIP supplier significantly reduces the HIP's lead times and procurement costs when compared to the traditional procurement cycle. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it of interest. Please don't hesitate to contact us should you wish to find out more about HIPS and how Paladin Systems can dramatically reduce your HIPS procurement costs and provide lead times that are redefining industry expectations.